lovers! It is G-Swiss here and I'm here today to do the TBR shame tag of 2018. This is the second year I'm doing the TBR shame tag and honestly I think that this is going to be something that I'm doing every year. Not to shame myself but just to keep track of how many books I have on my TBR. Also to motivate me to read them because I really do need to read them and not keep on buying books but just need, I need to stick to my TBR. I need to stick to the plan. Yeah, I'm quoting Big Sean. If you guys don't know what the TBR shame tag is, it's pretty much you showing all the books on your TBR that you own. Last year I think I was at around 155 to 160 ish books. My estimate for this year, like I think I should have given myself an estimate for last year, but my estimate for this year based off of last year's one will be 170 and it is my aim to get to 120 TBR books this year. A lot of people try to strive for under 100. Personally I'm not fussed at all with getting under 100 because I know that I'm eventually going to read these books or else I'm going to unhaul them. That's another thing. I took a bunch of books off of my shelf that I'm planning to unhaul before doing this video because last year I had books that I was planning to unhaul on my shelf anyway. They added to my normal TBR number and I realized that I don't need to do that this year. I think I'm just going to take all the books that I'm planning to unhaul off my shelves this year so that I could do a proper TBR shame tag, meaning that I am planning to read these books because they are on my TBR because TBR stands for to be read. And if they're not to be read, then they can just go. Is there anything else I need to say? Oh, this is going to be even more intimidating this year because I have a lot more comics and graphic novels on my TBR when I used to get them from the library. Last year, I made the personal decision that I was going to start buying graphic novels and comics and yeah, yeah, you know, that's good because it works out in my favor and I don't have to wait for a library to get it in. But at the same time, it adds on to my TBR. I mean, have you guys seen my Marvel comic shelf? And I think one more thing that I have to mention before going into this video, I don't think I'm going to be adding any of my self-help books because I do have some self-help books and I'm really bad at reading them and I need to get better at reading them. But I have this thing called a fiction addiction, so there's that. But today, I'm not going to add them to my TBR shame tag because at the moment, they don't have priority. The last thing that I need to explain is there might be a chance, like a slight chance, chance that this video might change volume because I am coming and going from my shelves. Last time I did my TBR shame tag, unfortunately the volume levels were out of whack. Definitely hoping that that can get resolved this year, but if it doesn't, I'm so sorry. I promise that I'll try to do my best to make this whole video sound normal to you. So without further ado, I'm gonna get started with my TBR shame tag. We will be kicking things off with The Language of Thorns by Lee Bardugo, Immortal Rain, A Book of Spirits and Thieves, and The Darkest Magic by Morgan Rhodes, Return to the Isle of the Lost and Rise of the Isle of the Lost by Melissa De La Cruz, Diabolic and the Empress by S.J. Kincaid, Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare, Annihilation, Authority, and finally Acceptance by Jeff Vandermeer, Leviathan Wakes, Taliban's War, and finally Abaddon's Gate by James S.A. Corey, Traitor to the Throne by Alwyn Hamilton, The Wrath and the Dawn and the Rose and the Dagger by Renee Adier. Every Heart a Doorway and Down Among the Sticks and Bones by Sean and McGuire. The Leviathan Trilogy by Scott Westerfeld, which consists of Leviathan, Behemoth, and Goliath. The Magonia Duology by Maria Devona Headley, which consists of Magonia and Aerie. The first two books in the Zodiac Legacy series by Stan Lee, Stuart Moore, and Andy Tong, which consists of Convergence and The Dragon's Return. Who's Afraid To by Maria Lewis. Firefight and Calamity by Brandon Sanderson. The Generations Trilogy by Scott Siegler, which consists of Alive, Alight, and Alone. The Wires and Nerve graphic novel duology which consists of Wires and Nerve and Wires and Nerve Volume 2 on Rogue and these are by Marissa Meyer. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Angela. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, Guardians Disassembled. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 4, Original Sin. And finally, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 5, Through the Looking Glass. All by Brian Michael Bendis. X-Force Volume 1, Dirty Slash Tricks by Spurrier. It doesn't even say his first name. A-Force Volume 0, War Zones. A-Force Volume 1, Hyper Time. And finally, A-Force Volume 2, which is Rage Against the Dying of a Light, all by G. Willow Wilson. Deadpool and Cable's standalone comic by Nikki Ezar and Brown. I, yeah. There's no first names on here. Why? Rocket Raccoon and Groot, Volume 1, Tricks of the Trade by Squatty Young. Silk Volume 1, Sinister. Silk Volume 2, The Negative. And finally, Silk Number 3, The Clone Conspiracy. And these are all by Kelly Thompson. Spider Gwen Volume 0, Most Wanted. Spider Gwen Volume 1, Greater Power. And finally, Spider Gwen Volume 2, Weapon of Choice. And these are all by Latour. And I don't even know the first name because at the moment I'm not on Goodreads. Spider Man and Spider Gwen Sitting in a Tree by Bendis and Latour, who are the two creators of these two. We have The Uncanny Inhumans Volume 1, Time Crush, and that's by Soul. Uh, again, no first name. The Wicked and the Divine Volume 4, 
rising action, and that's by Kieran Gillen, McKelvey, and all these amazing creators that put so much into these comics. Saga Volume 1, Volume 2, and Volume 3 by Brian K. Vaughan and Fiona Staples. That's who they are. Paper Girls Volume 2 by Brian K. Vaughan and Friends. The complete collection of the Secret Identity series by Joyens and Friends. Archie Volume 1 and Volume 2 by Mark Wade. And finally, out of my comic book collection, I have Jughead Volume 1 by Chip Zdarsky and Erica Henderson. And I mostly bought this because Erica Henderson did the art. Giver Quartet by Lois Lowry, which consists of actually no, I've read the Giver jokes. That's not a part of my TBR. The rest of the Giver Quartet, which consists of the Gathering Blue, Messenger, and Sun. Disruption Corruption Duology, I don't even know what to call this duology, by Jessica Shervington, which consists of Disruption and Corruption. And I Darken and Now I Rise by Kirsten White. Zeros and Swarm by Scott Westerfeld, Margot Lanigan, and Deborah B. Anquati. The Hogwarts Library by J.K. Rowling, pretending to be other people in the wizarding world. So we've got Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Not the screenplay, I've read the screenplay, but this is the textbook and this is by Newt Commander. Quidditch for the Ages by Kennel Worthy Wisp. And finally, Tales of Beetle the Bard by Professor Albus Dumbledore. Oh, no, additional notes by Professor Albus Dumbledore, which is cool. I'm so happy I got the classic box set before it went out of print because I really do not like the new Australian covers for these. Rest of the Dune Quartet by Kerry Corp and Laurie Langdon, which consists of Destined for Dune, Shades of Dune, and finally, Forever Dune. The rest of the Dory Free Must Die Quartet by Daniel Page, which consists of The Wicked Will Rise, Yellow Brick War, and finally, The End of Oz. The rest of the Mistborn Trilogy by Brandon Sanderson. We're cutting this one out because we read this one. I talk about The Well of Ascension and The Hero of ages, I'm not bothered to take it out of the box set because the box set's too tight. God's Grave by Jay Kristoff. The middle three books in the Magisterium series, which consists of the Copper Gauntlet, the Bronze Key, and finally the Silver Mask. And these are by Holy Black and Cassandra Clare. Sorry, Katniss. I Am the Messenger by Marcus Zusak. Everworld by Jason Siegel and Kristen Miller. An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson. State of Grace by Hilary Badger. Hacks by Sarah Pennypacker. Still Like Ashes by Sarah Rush. The Start of Me and You by Emery Lord. Fly in the Wall by E. Lockhart. The Truth and Lies of Ella Black by Emily Barr. The Dangerous Art of Blending In by Angelo Simelis. Stilling Stowe by Daniel Page. Refugee Boy by Benjamin Zephaniah. One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus. Vicious by V. E. Schwab. Everless by Sarah Holland. Daughter of a Pirate King by Trisha Levin. Seller. The Martian by Andy Weir. The Hunger Pains by the Harvard Lampoon. Yes, I've kept this because I laughed at the first page and I want to keep reading this. The problem is, is that it's just too funny to continue. This Mortal Coil by Emily Savada. You Don't Know My Name by Kristen Orlando. Between the Blade and the Heart by Amanda Hawking. The Taste of Blue Light by Lydia Ruffles. The Unbeatable Squirrel Girl, Squirrel Meets World by Shannon Hale and Dean Hale. I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. The Most Dangerous Place on Earth by Lindsay Lee Johnson. I Hate Everyone But You by Gabby Dunn and Allison Raskin. The Thousand Floor by Catherine McGee, Hunted by Megan Spooner, Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco, The Lost Girl of Uster Street by Stephanie Morrow, One Memory of Flora Banks by Emily Barr, Forget Tomorrow by Pintip Dunn, Daughter of Deep Silence by Carrie Ryan, One by Sarah Crosser, Remind Me How This Ends by Gabrielle Tozer, The Names They Gave Us by Emery Lord, A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Le Angle, Where Things Come Back by John Corey Whaley, We Are Okay by Lena LaCour, The Doll Maker of Procaro by R.M. Romero, The Dream Walker by Victoria Carles, Learning to Swear in America by Katie Kennedy, I Men, The Gauntlet by Ian Colfer. Nevermore by Jessica Townsend. Guardians of the Galaxy Castaways by David McDonald. Dare Mighty Things by Heather Kaczynski. Toward a Secret Sky by Heather McLean. The Beast Heart by Leafy Shellcross. Begin and Begin, a Love Oz YA anthology by multiple Aussie YA authors. The Hundred by Cass Morgan. Both of Me by Jonathan Friesen. Gangster Rap by Benjamin Zaphaniah. The Crowns of Crossworld by D.E. Knight. The Loneliest Girl in the Universe by Lauren James. Armada by Ernest Pine. Everyone's an Alien When You're an Alien 2 by John Nissan. Zero Repeat from Ever by G.S. Brindergast. Prisma by G.N. Ryan. The Love That Split the World by Emily Henry. The Last Nam Sara by Kristen Cesarelli. Small Spaces by Sarah Epson. Almost Midnight by Rainbow Rowell. Bad Romance by Heather Demetrio. Thousand Nights by E.K. Johnston. Geekerella by Ashley Poston. Wing Jones by Catherine Weber. Autobiography by Christina Lauren. This Song Will Save Your Life by Layla Sales. Looking for Alla Brandy by Melina Marchetta. Flawed by Cecilia Ahern. Tin Heart by Siobhan Plaza. First by Laurie Elizabeth Flynn. The Evaporation of Sophie Snow by Mary Weber. Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty. Beautiful Mess by Claire Christian. Juniper Lemon's Happiness Index by Julie Israel. The Chronicles of Narnia series minus the first book by C.S. Lewis, which consists of The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, The Horse and His Boy, Prince Caspian, The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, Silver Chair, and finally The Last Battle. The Spiderwick Chronicles books 1 to 5, which are in this bind up, by Holly Black and Tony D. Wild Embers by Nikita Gill. Adolescence by Gabby Hanna. Flux by Orion. 
Colotto, Chaos of Longing by K.Y. Robinson, Sea of Strangers by Lang Lee, Vertigo by Analogue de Leon, Neon Soul by Alexandra L, Worlds of You by Bo Taplin, The Sun and Her Flowers by Rupi Kaur, The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern, The Tenet of Wild Fell Hall by Anne Bronte, Keep the Aspidistra Flying by George Orwell, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson, Heart of Darkness by Joseph Conrad, The Name of the Wind, The Wise Man's Fear, Finally, The Slow Regard of Silent Things by Patrick Rothfuss, The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood, The Power by Naomi Alderman, Puffed Out on the Shore by Hiroki Murakami, About Grace by Andy Doerr, The Sellout by Paul Beatty, Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng, Red Sister by Mark Lawrence, The Tale of the Two Cities by Charles Dickens, Anne of Green Gables by Ellen Montgomery, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll, Wolverine Heights by Emily Bronte, To Kill a Mockingbird by Hyper Lee, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, The Drawing of Three by Stephen King, Beauty and the Beast by an author's name that I cannot pronounce, and finally, Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck. What up again, book lovers? It is G Swizz here from the future. I'm editing my TBR shame tag, and I'm even more ashamed because I missed out on two books, and I'm gonna share them with you right now. I cannot believe I skipped them, but I did. So, first of all, Remember to Forget by Ashley Royer, and then finally, A Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. 209. Never. Never did I think that I would make, like, that I would ever have over 200 on my TBR. And I'm not shaming anybody who does have, like, over 200 on their TBR. But, oh my gosh, what the frick. This is, like, what, 25%? I don't even know if it's more or less, but around 25% more than I had last year. I currently have a cold, and this is just too much for me to register right now. So I made goals when I did this video to, you know, like, shorten my TBR to probably, like, 140 but most likely at the moment due to the fact that my TBR is almost 210 my aim is to get my TBR down to 150 that gives me a balance between reading the books that are on my TBR and reading the new releases let's see if I can do this guys let's see if I can make 150 before next year's TBR shame tag that's definitely gonna be a challenge because um, January and February every year all of a sudden these new releases come out and it's crazy. I've been shopping through Christmas and my birthday and everything like that. That's probably the big reason why my TBR has really increased. I have got to smash it this year. So I'm going to smash it this year. I have faith in you G Swizz. You're gonna do it. Okay. I'll let you continue on with this video. But you know what the sad thing about this is? It means I have to take less books out of the library. And I'm not discouraging anybody from using their local libraries at all. You do you. It's just that if you buy as many books like me, and if you read as many books like me, and if you buy the books that you read in ETC and stuff like that, the library can get in the way. And the library is good because if I don't have the books with me, and if I'm broke, I can borrow a book from the library. However, I need to make sure that I'm gonna read what I have. And note, these are the books that I'm keeping. I've already got between 20 and 25 books stacked on my desk right there that I'm going to unhaul. So those aren't the only books that I haven't read in this room at the moment. These are the books that I'm not getting rid of that I'm planning to read. So that is going to be for this video today, book lovers. You can follow me on my social medias. I'm at Jesus of Books on Twitter and Instagram, and I'm also at Goodreads. That's www.goodreads.com slash I love you, book lovers, and I will see you later. Peace.